How's it going, everybody? The Electron Man. Uh, I'm going to kind of do a follow-up video. I thought this would be kind of cool. Um, basically, uh, I did a video on uh, diagnosing a uh, Canon uh, Rebel XT uh, SLR camera, and it wouldn't power up. So anyway, I thought uh, I, I diagnosed it, and basically a screw had come loose on the inside and shorted out the main board. But, you know, since it's, it's going in the trash, I thought, you know what? Let's just see how far apart we can get this thing. And, uh, and I thought it'd be kind of cool, you know, you have these videos, what's inside. Well, this is definitely a uh, what's inside video. So anyway, uh, we'll start over here. I'm trying to do this by hand. Hopefully, I can keep it pretty stable. But basically, this is all the odds and ends, that uh, all the screws that it required for me to get this camera completely disassembled. And I mean completely. But uh, anyway, that's the, the screw, I'll call it, bag of, of stuff. Here's the uh, the front uh, part of the uh, of the camera, the front piece. Here is the top piece of the camera. Kind of get a good view of all that. And here is the back part of the camera. This is the LCD part. And actually, this is really easy. If you had a if you had a camera with a bad LCD, this is really wouldn't was not really bad at all to pull. So if it was just a bad LCD, that would be a... And this, is, I think, is good because it had a short out mainboard. This LCD is probably fine. But uh, anyway, let's move on up here. Um, here's one of the covers on the side. I just put the uh, compact flash card there. This is the uh, cover for the battery. This is the viewfinder. This is the one shield I had to unsolder to uh, get the, uh, the CCD, the uh, main uh, camera CMOS... Uh, lens out of it and uh that's the only place i had to unsort it i had to unsort that shield to get the two cables that were connected behind it unplugged by the way i didn't tear one wire in the disassembly i could reassemble this camera and it worked as good as it did before <laughs> which well in this case uh it doesn't but but if it was a working camera i could have took it this far apart and got it back together that's uh, interesting um a little part here there's the the battery this is actually part of the uh cover for the uh, shutter this is the main frame of the camera this is actually where everything goes as you can see I got it down to the skeleton um, actually here is your shutter mirror for your viewfinder and it's actually got your uh, can you believe that's all the motor this whole camera has is that little bitty motor there I guess all it has to do is operate that shutter so I guess it doesn't take a whole lot of motor but I was really surprised that is the only motor but as you can see there's your mirror this is your front lens part. This is a shield for the battery case. Here's actually the battery case. Here is the circuit that mounted on the top of the battery case. Um, I'm guessing it's probably uh, has to do with voltage regulation and uh, maybe uh, I don't know what else it, it would do, but it was mounted on top of this. Uh, here's your shutter, which is really interesting. You know, uh, th which is actually a good part if somebody needed a shutter in and one I could park this out and uh, I was surprised though that that shutter I thought those would be metal they're actually like uh, all kind of kind of some stiff vinyl but uh, anyway that's your shutter there which as you can see it wasn't bad this was on the right side I'm I, looking at this I'm thinking this is some type of voltage regulator this is probably your main power board there uh, this is your audio video jacks and your uh, uh, I can't remember what else I think your mic jack is there here is the main board, and right here is the shield where I had to unsolder. There's a shield that sat here. In fact, if you take this right here, this little shield was laying over it like that and soldered down. And I did have to unsolder that to get these two plugs unplugged from that main CCD. Uh, here is a really cool thing. Here's your 8 megapixel CCD. This is why SLR cameras are so good. Look at the size of that. I don't know if you know, uh, even like the GoPro, it's, you know, it's probably like a quarter inch. What is that? That's probably almost a one inch square CCD. That's why uh, the resolution is so good on these cameras. Not only is it 8 megapixels, but look at the light that can collect. Uh, here's another bracket. This actually went on the flash card there. Uh, this is the internals to the uh, battery holder here. Um, then you have some various... This is a cable that went up to the buttons on the side for uh, your open your flash and I can't remember what the other button was there but uh, there's the two buttons there let's see I think that covers it all 
obviously this main board I believe this is the board that's fried in mine and it actually it has the uh, compact flash holder on one side and uh, obviously the CPU is on here this is definitely your, your main board here. I'm sure if I could find a good one of these and install it in this camera and put it back together that would fix it but uh, needless to say like I said I found out they're not that expensive to pick up secondhand anyway so anyway, I just thought this is a cool what's inside. I mean, I don't know if there's any other video out on YouTube that actually shows you a completely dissected um, SLR Canon camera. And it could be done. And I didn't, like I said, I didn't break one single wire. I didn't tear one single ribbon cable. I did have to unsolder uh, on this part here where the lens is. Those were actually, a couple of those were hardwired. And as you can see at Redwire there, I had to unsolder those, but it was like four or five connections and it'd be easy to solder it back. But uh, that was the only unsoldering you had to do, and that's way deep down in the camera. I don't even know why you would need to replace that piece. But uh, if you did, you could still do it. Anyway, I just thought this would be a cool video of me completely taking this camera apart. I'll just pile it up. Now, I'll probably keep all the little screws and stuff, and there's a few items here that I, I kind of keep just for keepsakes, but... Uh, most of it's just going to go. I'm definitely going to keep this LCD part. and I'll probably keep the frame here because, I mean, it has some value. Of course, I don't need to become a hoarder and keep everything. But now I'm rambling on. Anyway, guys, have a great day out there. And if you get a chance, give this a like and a subscribe.